The next bit of functionality that we're going to add to our protein tracker is the ability to make this add button actually work. So when a user clicks add, what it should do is it should take this value in the entered amount, it should add it to the total, and then it should update the total. We'll do this one step at a time, and first we'll create a handler that will handle the click event on this button. So let's go ahead and create this handler first. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our HTML and we can see that the ID is enter button. Then we're gonna go into our script and inside here, we're just going to do a query directly and we're going to query for this enter button. And then on this enter button, we're gonna go ahead and call on click dot listen and then we're gonna specify what the listener is. Now you can see that it's actually a little bit more complicated than what we had seen in the slide because we can actually specify what to do on error, on done, and a cancel on error. But we're gonna just use a simplified version and just specify a single handler. And we're gonna call this add amount. Now I'm gonna create this handler. So I'm just gonna do a void add amount event e and inside here we can actually do the logic for adding the amount but before we do anything let's just make sure that we're actually hooking this up correctly so we're just going to do a print and we're just going to print clicked now we'll run our application i'm going to click add and if we go back you can see that clicked is being shown. And on the other screen, I'm clicking add a couple of times. You can see it keeps on showing clicked. So we are hooked up to that event. In order to actually implement this functionality, we're going to want to have a variable to store the actual total instead of just hard coding this here. But we're also going to want to be able to get this entered amount in multiple places. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a top level variable or a variable that just is going to exist outside of any class, just like our main and add amount do. And we're going to make this of type input element. Now I'm going to declare the variable type because I'm declaring it here as a top level variable and it's going to be used in multiple places. This is just so this isn't very confusing. Right here where we have this var, it's pretty clear what we're doing. So it's not as critical to declare the type, although you could certainly declare the type as well. But when it's up here and it's gonna be used in multiple places, I prefer to declare the type. So I'm going to call this entered amount and then what we're gonna do is we're going to initialize this when we first load up. So entered amount, we'll do our query, and we're still gonna set the value. But now we're gonna utilize this here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna create a string, and we'll just do a var for this one, and we'll say the actual amount is equal to entered amount dot value. Now what we wanna do is we want to parse this string to an integer and add it to the total. Of course, we'll need a total variable, so I'm gonna create an integer called total. I'm gonna set it initially equal to zero, and then we're gonna change this so that instead of just always being zero, we're going to set this equal to the total, which is gonna start off as zero, but it may change in the future. So now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and do an int.parse, and we're going to parse our string, which will be the amount. We're not gonna use this radix. This is an optional parameter, an optional name parameter, but we do have this optional name parameter for on error. We're not going to use that just yet, but I will show you that in a minute. Now, what we wanna do with this amount that we parse is we wanna add it to the total. So we're just gonna do total plus equal, and then we'll have our total updated, but we still need to update the text. So we're basically going to do the same thing that we did here. So in this case, let's go ahead and make a div element called total div, and we're gonna utilize this. So we're going to use total div here, and we'll set our total div text equal to total. Then we can do the same thing down here in our add amount to update the total. We're just simply taking this total div text and we're setting it equal to whatever the total is. So if we run our application now, 
you can see if I click add, when we have zero, it's not doing anything. But if I have a one in here, the total is incrementing. And let's say I put in 10, then the total should increase by 10. And 100, it should increase by 100.